Evening everybody. Are we in focus? Are we? Because we've had a bit of focus issues lately, haven't we? Ooh, lots of focus issues. Ah. <laughs> We've had editing issues, laptop issues, focusing issues, because I've just started editing um, a series of vlogs that's from about six weeks ago. Beginning of August. Yeah, because you know we've had laptop issues and editing issue, editing suite issues. Um, but the some of the footage with this camera has been out of focus so I've been trying to fanny about with getting it sorted out because Angie's sitting over there out of focus aren't you? Anyway. What? Where are we? We're in Switzerland at the moment aren't we? Are you in focus? Yes. We're Jennifer. at a place called Lully. Lully. And this is a little vlogette. Yes. We're not vlogging the whole trip. We're not vlogging any of the trip. No. Are we? We're just vlogging now. Now. Because <laughs> That sounded like Ned. Now, <laughs> he, get, he always you've gets a shout him, out. You've done him another shout. He out. always gets a blooming shout out. He deserves it though. You're a gentleman, Ned. Go on. <laughs> anyway, that's me. When he says anyway, I know he's referring to me. Anyway, um, we've had this problems with the laptop. I've got a new laptop, which is fine. So I've got to get my head round that. I've got a new editing suite. It's the same as the PowerDirector had before, but it's slightly different. It's a more up-to-date version, so I've got to get my head around that. Um, the series of vlogs that I'm putting on, the first vlog in that series was edited on the old editing suite on the old laptop. But No, I've got to explain yeah, this because there is differences. I know. it's tricky, isn't it? The second and third at the moment, which is the only... I've done one, two, three, and uploaded them on YouTube, not public, just to see what I like. S two and three have got a few issues with the transitions. That's when it goes from one um, file to another, it goes a bit pixely. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take them down and re-upload them to see if that solves the problem. Because when I watch the file through off my laptop that I've got, it's fine. Yeah. But it's when it goes on YouTube. So I'm not happy with it. Um, and the reason why I'm not not um, recording this trip is because the vlogs that I'm editing at the moment, which I'm very slow at doing because I'm getting cheesed off of it all, it's, I didn't realise it was 10 days. There's 10 episodes yeah. in that series. I don't think it will be 10 episodes though, will it? It is 10 episodes. So that's why I'm not recording anything on this because it just pile up and you'd end up getting nothing because I just throw the towel in wouldn't I? It gets confusing. It gets confusing yeah. so so that's it so that's as far as we are with the laptop and the editing. But um, it's been expensive. Very it? expensive. It's been quite expensive. I'm self-funded I'm not supported by any company or anybody sponsors. anybody sponsors I don't go out there to do all that you don't um, even monetize, do you? No. Which is when you get adverts. Yeah. Which you would all see in my vlogs, and I don't think that's right. It's only like your bum, guys. <laughs> yes. So, I'm not funded. It's all. I'm all self-funded. I don't go around begging or anything like that. So it's all bought and paid for. So that's the end of that. Um. And there's a few other issues like the Brexit and stuff. Um, I think in the last vlog of the series that I'm editing, I do mention that about um, the, our company getting um, permits, permits to go to, to the EU. We've been refused, so it's going to cause issues because if you're not um, food stuff, medical, anything important like that cars aren't important so they're not they're not, they're not essentials they're not essentials they're not they're not issuing um, permits so that's been on my mind um, and also the government in the last couple of weeks have, have um, produced something just the worst scenario there's going to be riots everywhere there's going to be shortage of this shortage of that 
it's going to take two and a half days to cross the channel either way and in a queue in a, queue. in a queue for two and a half days i'm not doing that it was enough today we come from germany into switzerland this morning and we sat for two hours to get into switzerland to the to the holding area to do our papers and that was about not even two miles was it no. two hours and then an hour and a half to do to do the paperwork. the paperwork so you imagine that two and a half days i'm sorry guys Is that what it's going to be like you know you don't know they the government uh, i suspect some of you have heard the government produced that paper a few, couple of weeks ago but we've got our friend with us we've got a fridge we've got, we've got a fridge <laughs> over there <laughs> fridge he's, he's just, but he's not a noisy fridge he's not too bad but we were going to park anyway. over there and i said to Angie, if we park over there we'd like to get a fridge parked right next to us but i said if we park here i bet the first thing that parks is a fridge and guess what <laughs> Our fridge is here. Fridge magnets. He's got a little friendly fridge. Anyway, he's so it's not too bad. No, so Brexit. Is, there's a, there's a lot of things been bugging me. What's this police want here? Um. Anyway, right, he's going. There's a policeman sat there. I don't know what he's on. Um. I'm now 65, as you know. Um. I don't think I've got any health issues, but I've had a couple of niggly things that's been getting on my nerves lately, and I, and it, it does worry you. Um, and I used to do a lot of work on a truck, um, spend my money, don't I? Your own money. My own money. Your wheel trims. And wheel and trims, train horns, which a few of my, or one of my subscribers suggests I get train horns. So he obviously for years. he hasn't been watching all the vlogs, have you, mate? I <laughs> yeah. can't remember who you are. You've put train horns on trucks since I've known you. 20 years, <laughs> yes. I've always had train horns on my truck. Truck. So, so there is that. Um, like when I put these horns on my truck, when this was, this was brand spanking new, it's now four years old, as you know. I never thought of the future. I thought, they go on there. You know, I was, well, 61 then. Well not. Yeah, and I'll set up. Put them on and just I, don't think about it. Do I you? had a weekend away up in the north northeast of England, which is very rare to have a weekend mm. out mm. in the UK. And I've done this and, and and it's actually vlogged. I can't remember what vlog it is. Anyway, if you search through the vlogs, back vlogs, it's an er very early one, four years ago. You'll see me put them on, and there's some other things with another truck driver going on with some fancy piece, but I won't go into that. Oh, that was <laughs> that was weird. Um, so I never thought of the future, but at the moment, I don't know if it's an age thing or a health thing or a Brexit thing. I can't think further than a few days, really. I think, is it going to? Yeah, you know, it might. I know that's ex extreme, but I can't think the future is infinity because it's not mm. you get to a certain time with with issues that are going on that it's not infinity and I I really want to put some LED strips on on the truck like the, they're not they're like spotlights but they're more working lights um, a lot of drivers are putting them on now and they're brilliant and that but literally brilliant yeah, ping. Um, but I think to myself When's it gonna gonna end? Do you know, I really, you know? Do I? Uh, am I gonna reap the, reap the benefit? Am I gonna put them on and then next week it's all finished and I'm taking them off? A waste of time and money and effort. That's the way I feel at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit depressing, really. It, it isn't is. It? Sorry to bring you down, guys. I think Brexit and age and stuff is a little bit depressing at the moment. Anyway. Bring downy. Bit bring downy. Right, we'll stop Sorry. that. Sorry. It's it's all going to be a bit downy at the tonight because I'm now going to start on about this blasted Mercedes that's appeared. <laughs> well, that's not. That's it, not bring downy. It is. That's, that's, that's bring downy because it's killing. It's going to kill truck oh, driving. I said you weren't going to say that. No, I don't care. This blasted Mercedes that's got no mirrors. It's got no gear stick. You don't need to press the throttle. You don't need to touch the brake. It all does it for you. Your bloody steering wheel attendant. 
And that all these people that are going on about this truck. And how wonderful it is. I'm no, sorry guys. No, it's not. That is the nail in the coffin. It's gonna put you all, all the young guys out of a job. Yeah. There's no skill in the job now. And that is that is literally de skilling the job, isn't it? There's no skill in it. The thing just drives itself, you've got to sit there, scared stiff behind the steering wheel to wonder if the technology is going to break when some din load gets in front of you. Well, you've got to just point it in the right direction, steer it round bit, bits mm. and pieces, haven't you? Also, we've been down through Germany last, yesterday, the, well, today, and um, yesterday. Oh, Saturday. Saturday, we had Sunday off. Um, in Germany, and there's quite a lot of these Mercedes with no mirrors. It's like cutting the whi whiskers off of a cat. Yeah. How do you? Oh, get I. The width? That's it. I Is came. It? Yeah, I came through a gatepost. Come out of Blenheim Palace a couple of weeks ago, and it was that. It was that close on each it was mirror. Tight, it was tight, wasn't it? It was tight, wasn't it? That close. So, would you rather touch a mirror or the paintwork? Or a camera that costs a lot. Yeah, and them cameras look like bloody Shrek. The Shrek's ears. Yeah. <laughs> How stupid! <laughs> Driving a truck around with no mirrors, you can see all the bloke through the side mirror. But you know, he just looks stupid sitting there with no mirror, and he's got these Shrek ears on the top of his truck. But if you damage a mirror, it's not going to cost no. as much as damaging a camera, no. is it? No. And quite often, you'll just touch a mirror and it'll go back. Or you just scrape it on a wall and you just you use some back to black and it's back to normal, isn't it? Yeah. That idiot that touched your mirror in the queue. Yeah, we were queuing to come into Swiss and um, it was a bit tight and he banged my mirror, but it, no issue. I've straightened up and we're good. Mm. But he went down the road in his silly daft with his mirror all bent round and... Not being able to do anything. See either. what was going on. Anyway, so... Yeah. I think you gather that I do not approve of this truck. Not and a it, fan. No. <laughs> and if other truck manufacturers go down this route, truck driving is dead. Mm. I reckon within 10 years, if this technology takes off, that's going to be it. So. Won't we'll have to worry about it though, will you? No, I'll be, reti be retired. I'll be retired in a couple of weeks, I think, the way things are going. <laughs> the end of October, that'll be it. Because you've all seen the signs on the motorway about paperwork may, may, may change, change for the EU at the end of October, mm. 1st of November. The so, watching hour. We'll see. What was that thing, that t-shirt you saw? On, what was it, what was the slogan of? Elect a clown, expect a circus. And we've definitely got that circus, haven't we? But we didn't actually elect that clown. We as, didn't. As was pointed out to me today, but it's kind of the same no. difference. No, so, <laughs> we haven't gone for that anyway. So, that's that. Right. We've had that, we're going to go on a high note now, we're going to give a couple of shout outs, aren't we? Yeah. Right, is this them? That is them. Right. Um, what's this bank holiday weekend thing? Well, that's when the shout outs came in. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, right. Kind of oh, that idiot. Quite a while ago. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Yeah. So this is the only way we can catch up by adding in this vlog. A little vlogette. We're really sorry that we're behind it but we can only catch up by this so the series you're going to watch perhaps after this there may be another little vlogette before the next series comes up so anyway who knows we've got Niall is it Niall is that the way you pronounce it yeah Niall but he's put Neil in, in brackets Neil O'Connor in Dublin hi how you doing chat thank you all right thanks for watching thanks for watching and all your support and everything you know um we do we really appreciate it yeah we've got Andy Brewis I don't know where he he, he was obviously asked for a, a yeah, shout out. Yeah, I think that was on your comments. On the comments. Yeah. John Blower, shout out to you, buddy. Yeah, thanks for watching. You're more than welcome. And uh, we got Bob and Paula Barlow. Who, oh, yeah. Yes, that's, <laughs> that's brilliant because they watched our Como vlog and they went and stayed in the, ca the camper park where we were parked up for the weekend at the sports ground. Yeah. Because they saw the vlog, they thought, oh, yeah. we'll go there and visit it. And they live up north. They live up north. In Lancashire. Uh, they, they live in Lancashire, where the, cab the cobbles start on the M6. That's not me <laughs> that taking them. That was him. <laughs> that was him. So when you get sort of Lancashire, the M6 is cobbled. 
<laughs> we love that. We love that. That was that was brilliant. That's Cheers, funny. Bob. And um, we're really humbled that you went and visited yeah, really nice. and Bennett's and all that, all them local yeah. places, and obviously the lake you went and had a look down there. So, so our vlogs. I wonder have... if they found our little bar, the balcony bar, up the uh, vernacular. Uh, you'll have to comment. Did you go right up in the mountain and go to our oh, little bar? That was lovely. Yeah. Right. So that's that. Um, there's a little thing here I need to comment about. Um, there's a little bit of a rude comment, I won't name the person because um, he doesn't deserve it, about me not commenting on comments or acknowledging comments. Well, you acknowledge comments. You put a little heart. I do. I always acknowledge every single comment. Mm. Now, you show me a vlogger that does that. All the comments. No, there's a lot of these so-called high-profile vloggers that will not comment let alone press the love button to mm. show that I've seen the vlog, I've seen the comment, so I, I can't always comment. When you've, all right, I've only got nearly just 4,000 subscribers, but they take the time to comment on the channel, don't they? And some of the comments are quite long, aren't they? Yeah, and they're hard to reply to. And you can't always comment back. No, because, it takes time to record this stuff. It takes a lot of time to edit it. And if you've got to then sit down and reply in depth to every single subscriber, it just takes up your whole life. But we do read all the comments. Yeah, they're all read. And then I will like them. But this individual, oh, you never comment. You never, you never, you reply never, you never reply comments. to my comments. Well, I'm sorry, mate. But I looked through and saw you commented on about five or six co uh, vlogs, and I've either actually I've actually commented, and you say I'm not. So anyway, that's the end of that. You know you are, but everybody else, you know that it's hard to do this stuff. Yeah, and most of our su subscribers are really good about mm. that. Mm. You know, they understand. You understand, and it's great. But it needs to be pointed out, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, There's the odd, odd one. There's the odd, odd one. Odd, odd one. Yeah. So, if I don't comment, if I don't write a reply, I will like it. You'll we always like you. get a love. So, anyway, that's that. Yeah. Right, we're finished on that one. Well, we're not finishing, we'll finish that. Right, Steve Jane. He's a UK trucker vlogger. Hi Steve, hi Tanya. Hi Tanya, how you doing both? We watch Steve, watch a bit of his stuff. Yeah, give him a look. He's interesting, he does some yeah. good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, really like what you do mate. And um, yeah, good. And good. the boys. And the boys. <laughs> and um, last but not least, I want to say a big hello to Johnny Rogerson. Hi Johnny. We know you're going through a very hard time at the moment, mate. I won't put it out on um, on here, but we know that um, we time, understand. We understand. You know we do, and times are hard. And um, we'd just like to send love to you and your wife, really. Yeah. So that's all needs to be said. But love to you, mate, and yeah, your wife. Thanks for watching. Yeah, we appreciate that. So um, we're going to end on that, I think. So. Um, Hopefully, I will get the um, series up soon. How long have we been going on for? God, here we go, 19 minutes. Right. Without an edit. Without an edit. This is, is this going to be one take? I don't You're, know. You might see a couple of little clicks on it. Might see a few. Right, we're going to go then, guys. We're going to finish this off and have something to eat. And um, we're loading in Germany tomorrow, and that's back to the UK. And we're in a lovely service. It's very nice. It is brilliant, yeah. But we do apologise. Very expensive though. Switzerland is ridiculous. You're talking about four pound for a small McDonald's coffee. <laughs> you can pay one eighty nine in the UK for a uh, McDonald's oh, yes. coffee. Um, so anyway, on that Kevin the kettle will be on. Yes, he'll be on. <laughs> but we do apologise for not recording this series. I hope you understand because I've got such a backlog and I don't want to. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a lot, a lot on my plate at the it's moment. It's a shame, really, because we've had loads of scenery and trains and trams today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't tell them everything. <laughs> well, right then, guys. Never mind. We'll see you soon. Thanks for everything. Hope you're all well. See you later. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye. 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 bye.